My intention the other day was to record a quick video demonstrating that statistical parametric mapping might be easier than you think. But since then, I've had a few discussions with various people. Um, one question led to the how do you manually edit the graphs uh, video? And then potentially there was a missing step between the two videos. So a couple of people have asked, how do I plot p-values and how do I plot the alpha level or the critical t-value? So the intention of this video is just to show the two missing lines of code that will enable you to add those labels onto the default plots. So from where we were at the end of the SPM in six minutes video, we would have developed a plot of the SPM results that would look something like this, um, but there's no label for either the p-value of these shaded gray areas or the critical t-value or alpha level at these dashed red lines. So to do that, if we go back into MATLAB, um, the two missing lines of code after our spmi.plot is just a little bit more detail. So we want spmi.plot again, but this time underscore threshold underscore label, and that will add the label at the critical threshold. And then for the p-value, it's spmi.plot, and then this time underscore p underscore values. And if we run it again with those extra two lines, we see the same plot again, but this time we do have the labels for p-values and at the critical threshold. If you want to know how to manually edit the visualizations or these labels, then the video I recorded yesterday will demonstrate that. Thanks a lot.